Hey everyone, look, it's Dave Cullen, the partisan hack from the right-wing echo chamber, living in a right-wing bubble because he very seldom addresses people who challenge his views, so seldom that we might as well say that he never addresses people who challenge his views. He's never going to see this video, and he'll never respond to my comments on his video, nor anyone else who challenges his views, so you know, echo chambery, right-wing, bubble, partisan, hackery goodness is the name of the game with Dave Cullen. All right, guys, it's Tuesday, May 9th, 2017. Let's do more regressive news. We begin with 25 frames a second. Don't you just love the soft spot that the left has for communism? California lawmakers seek to repeal ban on communists taking government jobs. If there was a law in place that said that you can't be far right or you can't be fascist and have a government job, you would throw a tissy fit over it. Okay, we shouldn't be blocking people from having government jobs simply because of their belief system. Wonderful. But of course, it's not surprising. Liberal California, it's chock full of universities that have been largely taken over by Marxist academics anyway. So why not let their government officials push this stuff at the state level? The right wing has a number of fascists in it. Should we create a law stopping any of them from being able to become part of the government? But this isn't even just about politicians. This is about anyone being able to work a job for the state. Might have nothing to do with passing laws, but you think that someone who's communist shouldn't be able to work for the state? How fascist are you? California lawmakers are working to repeal a law from the 1950s which banned communists from working for the state government and its public agencies. So I take it you think we should return to McCarthyism? From the Los Angeles Times, being a member of the Communist Party would no longer be a fireable offense for state jobs under a measure narrowly approved by the California Assembly on Monday. Now, if that line was being a Nazi is no longer a fireable offense, obviously it would be a genuine cause for outrage. Actually, uh, no, we already have some fascists in office in the highest parts of our government. Um, no, we don't like that, but we certainly don't feel that there should be a law saying that they can't be in that position. People voted for these people. You know, voting, you know, voting, voting, you, you know, you know the concept of voting, right? Voting. But communists are given a free pass as if the historical record of communism is selectively forgotten. Of course, we should be concerned about genuine Nazis. Now, can we also adopt the same concern for genuine communists? Yeah, Dave, most of us know that voting is important. You know, voting. Don't vote someone in who's a communist. Don't vote someone in who's a fascist. You know, 